Hi, and welcome to the look and feel demo for the WorkSafe prototype of Salesforce. My name's Steve Holly, I'm a solutions engineer based in Auckland, and I've recorded a number of these videos just to help new users on the system. So we're gonna step through first just uh, the way the Salesforce screens are laid out and some features on it that you can take advantage of as you're exploring the use of the system. So when you first log in, this is the sort of view you should come into. I've logged in as a brand new user, so there's nothing set up for me other than what you would expect to see yourselves. So just working around the screen, up the top here we have a global search bar. That's really useful, and if I click in that area at the top, and I can type anything. So for instance, if I'm looking for an accident that's happened at Salesforce, I can type in that term, press enter, and this does a search across the entire Salesforce system and returns anything that matches the search criteria. As you go through Salesforce, the first time you visit pages, you might see these yellow pop-up boxes. And you're welcome to explore the tours or uh, ask them to show you it later when you've got some more time, or just clicking on no thanks means you turn them off for good at, for that particular screen. So I'm gonna click on no thanks for this particular one. And you can see all the different results of, that have been returned regarding the search criteria sales force accident. Uh, there's some activities and a case that's been returned and you can also see all down left hand side the different types of objects that you could have access to uh, that might store that information. So that's that's incredibly useful, the search criteria at the top, the global search, when you certainly when you're coming back into the system when you've uh, not been uh, looking at a particular object or case for a particular while and you want to get to it quickly. Let me click back on the Entities tab to get us back to where we were when we were first logged in. On the right hand side is a link to your personal control so when you first log in the look and feel will be the way it's been set up for your profile and role. Uh, every All of the WorkSafe prototype users have the same so it should all look the same but then you have the ability to personalize it so if you click on the drop down list under your username you've got things you can access so that is where you want to log out and you can access your profile uh, let's go and do that now so you can set up certain things about yourself so again a little pop-up box and we'll close out of the way there but you can uh, put your own photo there which is great uh, update your contact information and this is really good for geographically dispersed organizations and organizations with lots of people in it. Salesforce has over 15,000 employees and I use this all the time to try and find out the, some of the background on the people that I'm working with or looking to get help from around the world. And you know, they include in there things like the history, so some of the people that are working with IMX Oracle, that's good for other people to know. Others are XSAP, IBM, Microsoft, and we've all got different backgrounds that we can draw on, which is really powerful to understand that. We won't go spend too much more time on that area. The other space we'll quickly have a look at is your own personalized settings. So this gives you a menu down the left hand side where you can come and change a whole lot of different things. So one of the most commonly accessed areas is the display and layout. So if I click on that, it expands it. You can customize the order of your tabs. So these are your tabs across the top here. Uh, you can add more to them based on what's available to your profile. You can take some away that aren't of interest and you can also change some of the other settings through here. So there's lots you can do through this area, but certainly feel free to explore that as you desire. Let's go back to the entity side of things. So across these tabs, these tabs basically center your view of the information within Salesforce around that particular area. So at the moment, we're in the entity space, so the organizations, and we get an organization-centric view of the information. So here's information about an organization, and here's all the other information related to it. The other tabs up here are the home tab that centers it around you and uh, how you're using the system, what's important to you. Chatter is something that uh, you'll get to find out about. It's a very powerful tool. It significantly reduces the reliance on email. Uh, it just provides a lot of advantages over the tr traditional collaboration method of using email and uh, something we'd highly recommend WorkSafe Explore as time goes forward. Groups are part of that and we'll touch on that as, as part of the introductory session. Uh, entities are the organizations you deal with, the contacts are the people at those entities. Cases are notifications and other elements raised that you need to uh, process from a WorkSafe point of view. Reports and dashboards are exactly that, reports of what information is held in Salesforce and dashboards are a graphical way of combining those reports. 
Documents are the documents you generate or import into Salesforce for use. And then we've created a legislation link just to capture some of the different legislations that you work with. At the moment, all this captures is the name of the act. All right, so having done that, uh, sitting on the home page of entities, we can see that we have this view link and uh, we, can, it, we can use the go button to go to the list of entities that match this link. So at the, it says new this week. Uh, I'm new, so I don't have any new this week. If I click on the drop down list, I have a range of choices. I have all entities, which is all entities I can see, the ones I particularly own, or the ones I've recently viewed. Notice that the recent entities are also shown, recently viewed entities also shown up in this area below it. Let's go all entities, and when I select it, it automatically goes and searches it through. Now, I'm going to Again, I'm going to turn off this yellow bar at the top, which allows me to have the calendar at the bottom. I'm not interested in that just now, so just click on Don't Tell Me Any More. And now I've got a full list of all the entities that I have access to. And you can configure this view to show what columns are of interest. We've only captured a few things from the import data that was given to us. So, And uh, if I go now and click on one of those links, it actually takes me into the detail page around the actual entity. Again, a nice little yellow Hint, first time to this page, telling me what I can do. One of the first things you'll see is this, this feed shows up the top left. Again, this is part of Chatter and something I uh, encourage you to explore, but not something we're going to focus on for the prototype. So just click Hide Feed for the moment. Then we have the detail information about the entity. So if I scroll down a bit, you can see that uh, we've got uh, who's responsible for the entity, its legal name and its training name. If it was part of a hierarchy, it would have a parent and also any other information you want to capture. So as I say, we only were given very light information about entities and all we've captured is a legal name and training name for each of them. Across the top, you can see different hyperlinks and if you were to click on, uh, hover your mouse over that, that will show you the top five entries that are relevant to that link. So here we're looking at the contacts and we can see there's one contact at uh, Big Jerry Cabs called Quentin Jackson. Uh, similarly, we could have a look at what the past activities were, so there's been a bit of activity and uh, we've created this through a bit of the testing of the system before we release it to you. Uh, we can see these are things that open activities, things yet still to be done, activity history, things that need to uh, yet be, uh, that have been done. Cases are cases that have come through like from notifications and notes and attachments are uh, documents that you've generated, emailed, um, imported, photos you've attached, all that sort of thing. So, and if I was to scroll down the page, those same links also show up as related lists below it. So here you can see the contacts, uh, the activities, the activity history, the cases, and so on. And where there's more than can fit in a particular space in the page, we can go to the full list by clicking on go to the list. All right, so let's, um, if we hover over again the contacts at the top, and uh, now I wanted to go and see more information about Quentin, I can just move my mouse down into that area, move over Quentin and click, and that now takes me into the details of Quentin. So very quick and easy to navigate, and again, it's the same sort of layout, but this time we're focused on the contact. Notice the contact tab highlighted, looking at the contact, the contact detail at the top, and uh, we have, again, this time, activities related to the contact, activity history related to the contact, the case related to the contact, and the notices, notes and attachments related to the contact specifically. Now when you're working through, you can also use the browser back button. So here you can, if I click the back button, it takes me back to the entity. And um, if I click the back button again, it takes me back to the search. So you can use the browse buttons as you see fit. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let me just go back to the home page by click entity home page. The other things you can see, so now we've visited a particular entity, it shows up in the recent entities list. There's a number of standard reports here that you can access straight out of the box. Um, the reports that you can access, access at the reports tab are ones that you build yourselves. And then you've got some tools that you can use, so importing, merging, mass mail merge, and um, other things that are standard out of the box with Salesforce. All right, so I hope that's useful, and uh, please enjoy your use of Salesforce.